But first today, columnist James Dellingpole has owned up to a compulsion that's affecting all areas of his life. He's addicted to checking his emails and admits that he has to hide the habit from his wife. She, he says, my wife now resents my iPhone so much that I scarcely dare to use it in front of her. He goes on to say, I prefer to sneak glances at it in another room when I'm on my own. Poor wife is what I say. I know what that's like. So, what habits do we find personally very difficult to live with? With our husbands? With, any, with anything How long life. is the show? <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, lots of lots of things, and I'm sure it's I'm sure it's just things that most people have. But one of the main things that I do is that if I've got, like, if Lisa, you be on the telephone, just be on the telephone okay. to somebody like just with a pretendy right. telephone. Hello, yes, yeah, Lisa. So anyway, here. darling, Hello, that's what I'm saying, right? I just want to say that all the time, <laughs> and, really and I go you. and I go, hello, I've got a phone in my hand. Can you see the phone in my hand? Constantly yes. does that. And the other thing is, comes in, asks me a question, start to answer it. So, yes, it's about just... Hello? Hello? Walking, walking oh, off the in the middle while you're still talking to oh, him. Oh, God. And the other thing is, I know it's possibly... I know it's possibly because I don't go to the toilet naturally very well unless I've got my glycerin suppository. Oh, oh I wanted to share that with you, but it's true. If I went to the jungle, it would be my luxury item. <laughs> Why does Tim have to go 35 times a day before breakfast? So it's like we're trying to get everything ready in the morning and I go, darling, can you just... I'm in the toilet. And I go, what again? And he goes, why do I have to apologise every time I go to the toilet? But it's like every time I want him, he's having a poo. At least now it's upstairs. <laughs> Talking him when he it's goes just to the so loo. annoying. Well, oh God, this is a bit embarrassing. I've got another million actually. more, but you carry on. Actually, I, <laughs> no, I, I feel better about what I'm going to say now. You just did the thing about Tim always on the loo. Um, blokes breaking wind. Oh, I cannot stand it. I'm, I'm like almost obsessive about it. You know, I refuse to live with that. Well, well, I mean, and work with it. Almost blokes on a set think it's really funny. Yeah. I mean, you're not. You've got to act opposite someone who's just let one go. <laughs> A love interest or something. <laughs> you can't. Um, Paul, Paul, it's the mornings. It's in the morning with Paul. Every morning. In beds. <laughs> it's not even the smell. It's the... <laughs> it's like a... It's, what is it, a musical? He it's doesn't like a, do that. I swear, it's, I don't even need my phone, the alarm. <laughs> An alternative dawn chorus. It's very disturbing because it's quite startling in the morning. That's, that's, that that is, that's quite clever, Lisa. <laughs> it's Isn't not it? Ever. And we always start the day with a row because of it. And the other thing he does, which really, really needles me, is I could be sat there watching telly, quite clearly really engrossed in something, he'll walk in, pick up the remote and start scanning all oh, the yeah, channels like that. <laughs> but everything I watch, I'm watching that little square <laughs> in the corner like that. Oh, that's because you're so tiny. I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to get a party oh, on that little them. square. <laughs> well, you know, the one thing that really, really, I, I will cut a phone call practically dead when, is when people start to eat on the phone, especially apples. Why would you phone someone up and then eat an apple? Yeah, it's noisy. <laughs> so, what I'm saying, I don't want to listen to that. Go away. Call what me back. Does, yeah. What does Darren do? Uh, what, they didn't, the, I don't know you. Oh, he doesn't eat on the phone. He learnt that very early on in our relationship after a packet of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he only needed to be told once on that front. Darren is obsessed with gadgets. Really? Any, any kind of gadget. And he thinks that I have the same interest. Is that not a good thing, his love no, of gadgets? No, it's so no. dull. It's like going out with some boffin from tomorrow's <laughs> world. And, and he'll get in and he'll say, have you heard about this new... I just, well, I can't even repeat what he says, because to be honest, I just switch off. And, and he will talk <sighs> in huge detail. And, and if oh. you were to say to him, if I, if I phone him up now and said, oh, my camera's just broken, he'll get excited. Brilliant. I can fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> Bring it home. When are you coming home? I said, how quickly can you get here? Oh, but that's oh, really good. Cool. If he says he can fix it and he actually can do it, it's when they say, oh, I'll no, do a bit of DIY, and, he and then you ring the doorbell and the dining room light it. comes on. He won't stop. <laughs> This could go on until four or five in the morning. He ends up speaking to teenagers in Japan online. <laughs> oh, Babe, hold on, hold on. Sandwich. I'm on the phone to King Kang Kao and <laughs> I've cracked it.
So I know I just need this piece of software. I'm going to go into town tomorrow. He'll go all over the country. Now you see, Kate, I have to tell things. you, this is why I don't live with anybody. Because <laughs> you don't have the habits, do you, girls? You don't have to put up with it. You see, the only thing I will say is, when I did live with somebody, <laughs> is when they cut toenails. Oh! oh. Do you know what I meant? Don't they? Go, bing, 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 And you know, five years later, you're still finding them, aren't you? <laughs> And the other thing, no, the, but the other thing is driving, <laughs> driving. When you're driving and next to you, somebody's putting their brake with their foot That's and then changing oh. gear. Oh, oh, and you have a gap going, turn, Ooh. go down, turn, turn, like stop, stop. And the, other thing, and the other thing that gets me is that after 21 years, Tim thinks, still thinks it's funny to get into every taxi drive, every, every taxi everywhere in the world and go, Lytham St Anne's. <laughs> <laughs> 21 years, well, it's not funny. London. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's really in <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> Let them sit down. It's funny if they took you. You live a strange life, really, as well. Well, that's it from us for part one. But when we return, we'll be revealing what rules we've imposed to control our drinking. That'll be an interesting one for Denise. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>